Hello, in this video we are going to be looking at the Izokaze, which is the tier 4 Japanese destroyer, and coming from the Wakatake up to tier 3, this is actually a pretty huge improvement in the capabilities of the Japanese destroyers, um, mainly because of the torpedoes I suppose. As you see here, the Izokaze, or we'll look up here, gets three twin tube torpedo launchers, which is an extra two torpedoes from the Wakatake. And while these torpedoes they have the same range of seven kilometers as on tier three, they get a lot faster, 68 knots, so they'll be a lot more accurate. They also do a lot more damage. And between the two of them, the Izokaze can actually wreck enemy ships. I mean, maximum damage, 14,400. You're firing six of them at once, that is enough to kill any ship at this tier with a single broadside of torpedoes if you can get them all to hit. Um, otherwise, it's actually just a good all-round ship, combat capability, it's about average for a destroyer, 10,000 or so. The artillery on the Izokaze is actually pretty good for a Japanese destroyer. Uh, 9.1 kilometers is a very long range for Japanese destroyers, most of them are around 6 or 7 or so, actually we'll look at the Minikaze quickly. 7.6 kilometers when you go up to tier 5, so it's actually a downgrade in range heading up the tiers there. And then they've actually also got all right turret traverse, 22.5, that's all right for the Japanese destroyers. Um, they haven't said they still don't use the guns much because they aren't, you know, good for Japanese destroyers does not mean they are good. Um, AA, you've got some, but you uh, don't use it. If you don't actually have to turn it off because it's only got a 2km range, and by the time they start shooting, the enemy aircraft should have already spotted you anyway. So it's no real harm leaving them on. Um, maneuverability, it's a bit of a downgrade from the Wakatake, but not that much. 34 knots maximum speeds, good enough. Uh, 530mm turning circle. It's also pretty good, it's a bit less than the Wakatake, but that's alright. Runner shift time of 3.5 seconds is actually really good, it allows you to dodge and change directions quite quickly. And concealment, very important, surface detectability range, 6.1 kilometers. Um, not that great when your torpedo range is only 7 kilometers, but you can still either fire your torpedoes before you've been spotted, or perhaps fire them and you've only been spotted for a short time and hopefully the enemy hasn't reacted. And because of the high speed of these torpedoes, they won't get very long to react once, you know, if they have spotted you, it won't be very long till your torpedoes are there. Anyway, I think that's the main things to go on talk about for the Izokaze. So let's get into a game. Pillars are turning down there. This first game I have to show you is on the ocean map, which you might remember is my favourite map in the game. And, well, when I first saw the matchup, I thought it was going to be a bit of a hard one. As you can see, well, the enemy have a Nicholas, a Grimshank, Grimyashki, and a Wix as their destroyers, which are basically all very good destroyers at killing me. So, my plan in this match was essentially to scout at the start, try and spot a way through the enemy destroys and cruises to reach their battleships and aircraft carriers and yeah, basically just try and avoid the enemy destroys and cruises for as long as I can and get through to the end of the game where I can win and well the enemy team's been spotted, I've targeted a battleship kind of in the centre there and it looks like the enemy's actually left a bit of a gap two of the destroyers went to my right and one went to my left and it looks like all the cruisers are heading down the sides, and this battleship is heading straight towards the middle of the map. Which means if I'm lucky, and kind of manoeuvre to keep everybody more than 6 kilometers away from me, I might be able to get some torpedoes off against this battleship right at the start of the match here. You can see here I've got my torpedo selected, and it actually has two functions, because on the map it actually draws an 8km circle, which is my torpedo range. But that's also basically my detection range. But I've been spotted. I fire off my torpedoes at this battleship. And then I turn to escape. 
and I thought about popping some smoke here, but nobody's actually shooting at me. So I figured I would hold on to it until someone shoots at me, but there they go. Hit my steering, so I have to repair that quickly and put my smoke back on. And, well, I kind of got away with it, so let's just see how those torpedoes go. They look good. One, two, three, four. And only four hits. Which unfortunately leaves that Miyogi with a tiny, tiny bit of health. But, that's still alright. To be honest, when you get off a selfie like that, that's pretty much your game made in terms of experience and credits. I just did 40,000 odd damage to that battleship. So it's done alright. I'll take a few shots at this cruiser, but I'm not very optimistic of actually hitting it, because it is manoeuvring. But, it was there, and it couldn't see me through the smoke, so I might get lucky. And now I'm just looking for more targets. Unfortunately this cruiser kind of blocked my way to approach that battleship and the destroyers, well, of the direction I'm looking at now, and if I head off in the other direction there's more destroyers and cruisers. And the battleships and aircraft carriers on the enemy team all kind of seem to be in the eastern or northeastern side of the map. Which unfortunately means I've got to go either through this cruiser or through that destroyer behind me to get to them. Fire some more torpedoes off at this cruiser. Like I said, I might get lucky, but I'm not particularly optimistic of actually hitting it. And I think maybe I'm slipping through the smoke and coming in behind it. But I don't think I quite have the range to do it. I think those cruisers over there will spot me before I can get through. I've been spotted by aircraft now. And my anti aircraft guns are going away at them, and that's fine by me. I might get some, or at least I'll do some damage to them, and maybe someone else will finish off an aircraft or two. Okay, I'm getting a bit close to those cruisers though, so I'm pulling back those cruisers over there. Somebody's taking shots at me. Actually, it looks like a few people are taking shots at me. Still trying to hit this cruiser. But I'm thinking I'm not having much luck with that guy, so I decide I'm going to go and try and kill the enemy destroyer that's also blocking my route to the battleships. Also mainly because it's getting very close to our cap circle, so we really have to deal with that Nicholas. Unfortunately Nicholas is a very good destroyer, especially at killing enemy destroyers. But. I said it needs to die, and my team has been doing a very good job of killing it, essentially. Well, that cruiser's on low health, but... No. Oh, that low health cruiser spotted me, though. Take a few more shots at this cruiser. And now, focus on the destroyer. And basically, I just want to get really close to it. Taking shots at me again. Oh, actually, a fair few fire. So I pop my smoke. Just so that they don't shoot at me. Yeah, basically, my plan for killing this Nicholas is just to get really close to it, dodge its torpedoes, and hopefully just get close enough that I can get one or two to hit it. Miss that cruiser again. I suppose I could take a few more shots at it. This cruise is actually doing a really good job of changing its course so I can't torpedo it. I mean, it only takes a few seconds for my torpedoes to arrive, but it's never where it's predicted to be. And there's an enemy battleship, I've got a bit of a gap through to it now, actually. But this cruise is, uh, not cruise, the destroyer here, it's kind of still threatening. Especially since there is another battleship behind it, which I also want to get to at some point. Oh, I managed to hit that cruiser. Okay, well that was good. I said I'd get lucky eventually. It wasn't enough to kill it, but did a bit of damage. Okay, firing a few shots at this destroyer. I 
It only really needs one torpedo of mine to actually hit it, and it should be dead, two at most. But it turns to dodge those ones, or maybe it was just turning. Fire a couple more into the smoke. But uh, that destroyer seems to be ignoring me, which is kind of unusual, because I've actually managed to get within five kilometers of this battleship, which is the one I torpedoed earlier. So I go broadside onto it to launch my torpedoes in ten seconds once they've reloaded. And the enemy destroyer is continuing to ignore me. Oh, they have to dodge some fire from the battleship. Takes out one of my torpedo tubes, which I fix, but unfortunately it means I'm not going to be able to fire a full broadside at this battleship. Fire off my first two tubes. And I'll fire off my second two tubes when they become available. And... Well, the enemy destroyer is still ignoring me. Which is kind of good. Well, it's not just ignoring me. I've actually far enough away from everything that nobody can spot me now. So I'll just focus on this battleship then. Okay. Got some torpedoes back. But those two hit and managed to sink that battleship. And unfortunately, I'm about to be spotted by these enemy aircraft. Um, so here's a bit of a conundrum. If I head south, I can try and hit that battleship, but there is a destroyer in between me and it, and that destroyer could kill me very easily. So I decide to head north and try and take down the enemy aircraft carrier. At the time, I thought it was an alright course of action, because we are winning. So I thought my team would be able to deal with these ships behind us, but not so much, as it turns out. I thought of shooting off at this destroyer here, but I didn't really have a reason for not doing it. I just thought, ah, oh, I'm not going to hit him anyway, so I didn't bother trying. But, like with that cruiser, I might have gotten lucky. So I probably should have taken a shot, but it only actually occurs to me once it's out of my torpedo range that I should have taken a shot at it. And unfortunately it's now moved into our cap circle, which basically puts a time limit on our game here or a much nearer time limit than the 10 minutes up in the top right corner. Um, I didn't think much of it at the time because I thought there were plenty of friendly ships down there and they should be able to deal with it. But it's going to be an odd game because we've been winning basically the whole game but at the same time we've always felt like we were pinned in the southwestern corner of the map. So we were winning technically as we are now, no, actually it's even now. But it never really felt like we were. It felt like the enemy were on the offensive and were driving us back. Or pulling us in. Anyway, I've spotted the carrier. And I could actually shoot it with my guns now, but I don't. Because I don't want to alert it to my presence. Because I figure if it knows I'm here, it's going to start changing its course and running away. And I want it to keep sailing straight and at steady speed until it hits those torpedoes. But it spotted me, so I switched to my guns to do some damage and as I said it started turning as soon as it spotted me so my torpedoes miss but I get two shots on target fire one more shot and there's a second and a third being a Japanese destroyer the guns aren't great I mean good for a Japanese destroyer but not fantastic slow rate of fire slow traverse there's not that many of them Fire some more torpedoes. I only really needed to hit two or three to actually kill this guy, but these aircraft carriers are actually pretty maneuverable. Managed to hit me with some dive bombs, I think, there. And my shots miss. Here, my AA guns are going nuts, but they don't do much because they're just not that effective. Well, managed to just take out one of my guns. But that's alright, we've still got three going there. Managed to get a hit to do a bit more damage, and of course we've set it on fire, which means its aircraft can't land to reload. I'm firing some more torpedoes, but we've seen this guy is pretty capable of dodging them, so I'm a little optimistic. I might have to rely on my guns a bit here. And well, if you look at the top, you see the game's actually turned very well against us. That destroyer is still in our cap circle. And well, we're actually down to three ships. And the other two aren't going to last very long. 
So and I'm, of course, in the complete wrong path for the map to actually do anything to change the outcome of this game. So at this point I'm just thinking I'll kill the aircraft carrier and then we'll almost certainly lose this. At least the two ships down in the bottom corner will actually do something, but I doubt they will. Okay, managed to dodge my shot there. I'm going to wait a while for reload. Now I'm trying to get really close to this aircraft carrier so that I can torpedo it. But it's actually quite fast compared to me. Well, not compared to me, I'm faster than it. But it's going to take me a while to get within a few kilometers of it. And since I have to turn broadside on to fire my torpedoes, it means that well, it's going to get a greater chance of getting away there. I'm firing away with my guns. Hoping to start a fire again, and there we go. And these high explosive shells, they are doing a fair bit of damage with every shot. Not a lot, but they're whittling this guy's health down. And the fires at the moment do a lot of damage, so they are also helping a lot. Turn towards it because I want to close the distance. Four kilometers, three bit kilometers, it can probably still dodge these, but you'll see. Two thousand damage, that was pretty good from three shots. It's actually getting on very low health, but that secondary gun battery did a lot of damage to me there. Oh, it's getting low. But almost lost here. Oh, I think those three will kill it. Ah, uh, no, we were robbed. So, we only got the one kill, but still not alright in credits and experience considering it was a loss. 7 torpedo hits and 30 shell hits is actually pretty good, you see top of my team. And that destroyer that was kind of in my way the whole game was top of the enemy team. Sunk 3 ships and shot down 3 aircraft, so... Really the game probably was won by the fact that that destroyer did better than I did. You see, took 2 shots, both from high explosive. Actually, they might have both been from the secondary, they might not have been the dive bombers that damaged me early on. But yeah... But unfortunate to result that one, but it always felt like we were kind of on the defensive there, even when we were winning. Anyway, this next game is a bit quicker. It's a it's actually a tier six game, but only because the enemy have some Cleveland cruisers, and so do we. But mostly it's actually tier four or five. And it's domination on north. And being a destroyer, my first job is to rush in and try and capture some of these domination points. So I start heading in towards B, and I think it looks alright, I've got a couple of cruisers with me. I would prefer, if I were them I'd actually hang back a bit more, but that's okay. But what I don't realise is that basically the whole team slowly starts turning in to follow us towards B. Which, it's kind of an interesting thing, but just the seas around here get a bit crowded in a minute. So we spotted an enemy cruiser, and the Kuma in front of me is firing away at it. It's only an Omaha. If it was a Cleveland class cruiser, I'd be a bit worried. Now let's turn a bit to try and just give the Kuma a bit of space to maneuver when we get into the cap circle. But then I realize the Iwaki is coming in that way, so I turn the opposite direction, get on the other side of the Kuma. And I'm just going to try and sneakily cap this while all the cruisers are keeping this enemy cruiser busy. The Iwaki fire some torpedoes, but they're not going near me, so I don't really bother about them. Shots going over the top of me, and there's another cruiser right beside me, which makes three cruisers and a destroyer in this cap circle, so we should be doing pretty alright. And so at this point, I looked on the minimap and realized that basically my entire team is also charging into B, except for one destroyer who's gone to A, and a couple of cruisers who look to be heading towards C and D. So I turn and figure I'm gonna have to go grab C, think about trying some torpedoes, but there's just way too. Higher chance of me hitting a friendly ship if I fire them. And, well, yep, I'll go help out those cruisers. Actually, it's a battleship and a cruiser heading towards sea. Because, well, the enemy will probably outnumber us there, since we. Well, they'll probably outnumber us anywhere but B, because B is where our whole team is. But we captured one point, the enemy's on the way to capturing two of them, but we've still got an early lead, just thanks to sending so many ships into B, we captured it really quickly.
Got enemies almost captured C. And it's got a cruiser there. And it actually also looks like there's a battleship just going to head straight into it. Which will be very good for me and this destroyer in front of me. I've okay, been spotted by enemy aircraft, but that's alright because I don't think any enemy ships will be able to shoot at me at this point in time. I was just checking out what destroys the enemy here. They've got two Clemsons, which are pretty good at killing destroyers. So I'm just hoping I don't bump into one of them here. Obviously, they're not great. They're not as good as the Nicholas or the Farragut or any of the higher tier American destroyers. But they have a lot of guns. It's just that they don't traverse all that quickly or fire all that quickly for American destroyer guns, but they can still kill me pretty quickly. Anyway, the battleship has charged straight into sea. Which means I'm going to get a good opportunity to torpedo it from behind the smoke my ally has laid. See the Nicholas's torpedoes there, it's actually got a very short torpedo range, so they're actually not going to hit. They ran out of legs just before they reached the enemy battleship. And then I fire my torpedoes. I'm just sitting here watching them go. The Nicholas goes in and fires another salvo of torpedoes off. But that Nicholas is taking a bit of a beating. Of course I'm not spotted because I'm behind in smoke. And that battleship's actually stopped. Which means my torpedoes are probably going to sail right in front of it. And I'll get one hit. Two hits. Oh, three hits, and I actually managed to sink it. Oh, and I wasn't paying attention, and I turned straight into a friendly battleship. And there's also a destroyer behind it. Um, so, okay, I lost all my speed, so I've got to try and turn and pick up some speed here. And there's also an enemy cruiser just showing up as well behind us. So I suppose we should deal with these guys since they are here. Oh, and that destroy fire torpedoes, and I've got no speed to dodge these. But I get lucky, I only take one hit, and it wasn't quite enough to kill me. Oh, Fix the flooding quickly. This flooding will kill me real quick. And then line up on the enemy cruiser. Fire two torpedoes, and when I'm... Well, four torpedoes, and when I'm doing it, I ram a friendly cruiser. Pop my smoke, because... Well, protect me, and I think it'll be quite vulnerable since I'm obviously not moving. But it looks like that enemy cruiser is going to sail right into my torpedoes. And yep, two kills, three torpedo cruiser. hits. Now that enemy destroyer is in that smoke somewhere. Okay. Fire two torpedoes at where it's predicted to be. But looking at the way the smoke's spreading, I think it's actually probably gotten itself stuck on the island right there. But I wasn't confident enough in that to actually fire a torpedo at it. See, my two hit the island without exploding. So I figure right now my job's probably going to be head towards D. And also, if you could look, we'll have actually managed to win this game pretty well. There's only three enemy ships left, and that destroyer was just sunk, so there's only two enemy ships left. A cruiser and the enemy aircraft carrier. And the cruiser's been spotted around, well, in between C and B. But unfortunately, I'm just not in a position to go and um, attack it. This massive island beside D's in my way. So I figure the rest of my contribution towards victory will be finding, or capturing D and then heading off to try and find the enemy aircraft carrier. But I've been kind of keeping an eye out for enemy aircraft and I haven't seen any for a while. There was that big initial airstrike coming down the centre of the map, the which suggests the that the enemy aircraft carrier was somewhere in the centre. But it was a while ago, so it could well have moved. And if it did launch a second strike, I didn't see where it went because I was probably too busy ramming friendly ships and torpedoing in enemy ones. And 
the enemy, our team's actually taking a while to kill this cruiser. Actually, it doesn't look like most of our ships are in a position to actually fire at it, is probably the problem. Well, I'm capturing D, we're about to capture B. And I actually kind of panic a little bit here because I'm getting very close to the edge, and I just realised that I haven't actually finished capturing D yet. Because I didn't go right the way across the circle, I can actually fail to capture it, so I turn it last in a minute, but. Well, my stern actually manages to capture D. So that cruise is still alive. Which is kind of good because it's giving me a chime. Well, it's giving me time to try and track down this enemy aircraft carrier. I thought it might be hiding in these islands, but judging by the way the dive bomber on the map there's flying back, it's probably sitting around. Uh, let's say B8 ish, A8, A9. Which means I'm probably a fair distance away from it. And well, you can see at the top, we're gaining a lot of points very quickly. And the enemy is not. Up to 941, actually make that 975 since we just sunk the enemy cruiser. So basically, this is going to be the game. I'm not going to get a chance to spot the enemy aircraft carrier. It would have been nice, but it's not to be. And, well, in the end, that was kind of a very one-sided game. Possibly because we just sent everyone into B, we actually had uh, enough force there that we could just overwhelm the enemy. Got 2300 experience, which is pretty impressive. Two kills. The Minikaze on my team actually did a lot more damage than me, apparently. And, yeah, so that was just... It was all the All of my contribution was very quickly just destroying that battleship and then turning around and destroying that enemy cruiser. But you see, I did a lot of damage with my torpedoes, five times my hit points. Took a bit of damage myself, including from that one torpedo, which... I was very lucky it didn't kill me. Oh, excuse me. And, well made a bit of experience. Not much credits, though. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.